Next up is the program film about Lance Armstrong. Yes, <laughs> and not uh, Louis not, Armstrong. <laughs> not Louis. Louis. <laughs> did I really say that last week? Yes, yeah, you did. Yes, yeah, so did. directed by Stephen Frears, who did The Queen and Philomena. Philomena's one film I definitely want to see soon. But um, obviously, as you know, it's it's the same title as the book, which is the well, yeah, the book, the book which was created by the author, which is played by Chris O'Dowd. <laughs> by in the film. author, but yeah, well, yeah, well, like, created yeah, by yeah, the yeah. author, <laughs> played in the film by Chris O'Dowd, David Walsh, who was at the Sunday Times, and he is the one who exposed the swell. He, he was the one who first brought attention to it in the mainstream, like he, he be, and obviously blew it out in the end. And this is very much the story about the rise and fall of not Louis Lance, Lance Armstrong. Armstrong. Uh, it's a fantastic performance by Ben Foster. I mean, we were just uh, was it Joe? Mm. Who said that Ben Foster was finally do like a, yeah. a massive leading he's, role? He's always had like these little bits and bobs every yeah. now and then. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's never had like a massive like me and. And he's but... just he's so charismatic. I mean, he's got the wink in the eye as you see in the trailer. He's got the he's got the sneer. He's got. You can really believe that this is a man of like, power. I was half expecting him just to say, "I will break you" at some point because he's got that sort of leering like thing. Like he, he, he's, when, when he's when he's telling people that he's gonna that he's got power and that to destroy them. You know when he like he's he's on yeah, the dark he's, side he's of not, Armstrong. He's not shy of you know, uh, he's not shy of crushing of people, walking the line. But like he's also in D. And there's plenty of scenes where you can sort of sympathise with him. But I don't. It, it sort of it makes sure that you see Armstrong as a three sixty degree person. Mm. You know, it's not it, it's not one side or the other. It's a man who was dedicated to do anything, and he does stress anything to save a sport. Well, not save a sport, but to win in a sport and be a winner at all costs. Yeah, and you and you, you do understand part of it. But I mean, I think you enjoyment of this film will become from just how how much you can get behind it because I mean obviously Chris O'Dowd it, it, I was wondering if he was going to be good in a serious performance and I think he's really good here like he, mm-hmm. he's clearly showing that he's finally ready to step into that acting thing and obviously now he's got off mice and men on the stage hasn't he with, with looks, James Franco yeah I mean yeah. it's just it's it's so well made as well it's snappy it's frenetic you really get this I and mean, it matches with the pace of bike racing itself uh-huh. you know it's really well shot really nicely really gets soundtrack it, it pumps along nicely it doesn't overstay its welcome and it's genuinely very entertaining from start to finish and it's also thrilling at points as well it does a really good job really of blending fun. in the footage like actual um, archive footage oh yeah as well. absolutely mm-hmm. yeah. It, I think it has been classed as a docudrama uh-huh. by some but everybody from the outlets. sporting cast and Jesse Plemons to Lee Pierce they're all really good and obviously but this is very much Walsh and O'Dowd's film like O'Dowd and Ben Foster's yeah. film and he is they're both fantastic they, you know when when they are together they sparkle you know and but it's absolutely Ben Foster's film in the main steer because he gets the majority of the scenes and it's always just him and his weaving twisting ways and if this is anything like Armstrong was actually then dear god god help you know us, i mean yeah. yeah but i mean just it's just a genuinely terrific leading performance he won't probably be nominated no no, no not a chance not. but mm. i mean if, if i was in charge i would because this is definitely a worthy performance i was quite taken aback by how good it was yeah um i mean ben exactly ben foster is just any any moments where he looks like spitting like spitting double oh yeah that's 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 the, the archive footage really matches up and mm. there's, there's bits when you can't really tell yeah i mean there's that one in the trailer where like you know puts his hand yeah. across his lips mm-hmm. I mean, that, really that's, that's an like... incredible moment in the film which is expanded on in the film as well yeah. I must um, see however I had one criticism that in the last 15 or so minutes it does sort of lose a bit of steam but well, I think that's I, because as, it wraps it, itself up quite yeah. quickly but um as it would yeah but I mean yeah and, uh, for, apart from that it is terrifically entertaining from start to finish and you really do get behind it you want to read more about it you mm-hmm. want to you want to leave wanting to read more but if, if this is a true story then well I mean obviously it is he's it been is stripped of all his titles but yeah there's a, a story of a man and his will to win Lance Armstrong is a cheat. Is a cheat. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to say uh, Chris O'Dowd in more stuff and Ben Foster in more leading roles. Get it done, people. Casting agencies, do it.